Hello developers, in this video I'm going to walk you through how I built Hexacode in Wason, a payment aggregator service designed for Trinidad and Tobago. If you've ever wanted to simplify taking online payments for your clients, please stick around. The tech stack for this project includes Next.js, an express server, Clue for authentication, Zata for the Postgres database, and PHP for the WooCommerce plugin. I use Colby Fayux video, build an invoice app with Next.js 15 for my base. You can check it out, it's a great video. I'll leave the link to it in the description. Um, but I basically just took this and added some features on top of it. All right, so similar to Colby's video, anyone can um, come on the site and sign up. I make a sign up with Google. Da -da -da. All right. Um, although I added a profile page uh, so that users can um, just put a bit more information on their user accounts. All right. Let me just fill this out quick. Um, Right, um, for this, it would be good for users to um, enter their banking information and you'll see why in a moment. <coughs> These are basically just the fields needed for Trinidad and Tobago bank accounts. Alright, so submit and submit. Alright, you'll also see that there's this switcher here so that we can switch between test mode and live mode. Um, as the name suggests, test mode will be for test payments and live mode will be for live payments. Now Stripe isn't available in my country, so I use Fizik <coughs> to handle the online transactions. So let's start by creating an invoice in test mode. All right, so you'll see right now, I don't have any invoices. Uh, let's start by creating an invoice. All right, so before we create an invoice, you just have to um, select a customer. You can click here to add a new customer. Um, let's say John Doe, John at Doe.com, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, save customer. Uh, we put an amount, let's say 80, description, test invoice. Now we could also make it a recurring payment, um, so it does support this. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, let's just, let's just do it with a one-time payment. Alright, so create invoice, invoice created successfully. <laughs> and we can see this invoice has been created successfully. Now another thing I want to show you guys is if we come to withdraw, um, you can see the information we just entered as well as the current balance being zero dollars. Uh, let's see what happens when we um when we pay the invoice. Alright, so we click on this invoice. Uh, we can see information about it. Um, you can click share to email the customer or to copy the link and send it to the customer. Alright, you can change the status here, but let's go on and try to, um, to pay this invoice. Alright, so this page here, this page is, um, doesn't require authentication, so anyone could, um, anyone can basically come to this link and click this button to pay the invoice. All right, so let's hit pay invoice. It would redirect them to Physics um, payment page. 
So this is um, physics hosted payment page to take um, payments. I'm going to use a test card provided by Physic. John Doe, and say the fifth, seven, seven, seven. This is just a test card. <clears throat> and we hit continue. And we can see invoice paid success successfully. Um, it would send out emails to the admin, <clears throat> the customer, and the user that created the invoice to let them know if it was successful or unsuccessful. And if we come to withdraw, click on withdraw and come to the withdraw page, we can see that they have a balance of the invoice minus 6% of the invoice. All right, so basically, um, basically this is a way for you, the admin, to make some money. You can charge 6% or 10% of the transaction fee. And um, the user will just see the value of their invoices minus your transaction fee. Um, because it's in test mode, um, they can make a withdrawal, but if you were to go into live mode, uh, they'd be able to withdraw their, um, their balance, basically. And, um, and you'd basically just make the bank transfer to them. All right, so we just saw a um, payment in test mode. Let's check it out in live mode now. So if I click the switcher to switch to live mode, you see switch to live mode. All right. Um, if I go into withdraw, <coughs> you see the current balance for live mode is zero dollars because we haven't made any payments in live mode. So let's start now. Let's come here, create an invoice. Um, we still have access to the customers. Let's say um, $2 for the amount. Live invoice. Create invoice. Go back to invoices. <clears throat> See it here now. Uh, just like the task, could change status, share, and the payment page, this is available to anyone. All right, if we click pay invoice now, it'll take us here where we can fill out our live card details. All right, so I'm just gonna pause the video now and make this payment. All right, so as you can see here, the payment has been made successfully and if we go to withdraw uh, we can see here that um that um the six percent fee was deducted from the balance <coughs> all right in this case i also charge like a ten dollar fee to withdraw and because the current balance is less than ten dollars i can't withdraw but if i was to log into my zata Accounts, all right, users, and if I was to update this to, let's see, yeah, eighteen dollars, right? Come back here, refresh. Right. So now that the current balance is more than ten dollars, I can withdraw. Um, withdraw the balance. Uh, you can see here um, the amount is like eight dollars and eight cents, eighty cents, because um, ten dollars was deducted upon withdrawal, 
I know my balance is back to zero dollars. Alright, so you the admin would get an email about this and um you just make the bank trans you just make the bank transfer and change the status to be completed. Alright. Alright, last but not least I'd like to show you guys the WooCommerce plugin um for this payment aggregator. Oops. Alright, welcome back. So the last um part of the payment aggregator I want to show you guys is the WooCommerce plugin. Alright, so WordPress is a popular CMS for websites and WooCommerce is the standard plugin used for e-commerce. <coughs> uh, so it only makes sense to make a WooCommerce plugin to um to assist uh users um to easy integrate the system into WordPress. Alright, so if we go into plugins It's running locally, that's why it's a bit slow. Um, but if we go into plugins, you can see here <coughs> Hexapay for WooCommerce. Alright. Um, I use this guy's playlist basically um, as a guide to make the WooCommerce plugin. I'd provide a link to his stuff in the description as well. Um, but. If we go to WooCommerce, go into settings. Payments. And we click manage on Hexacode payments. <coughs> you see the different options here. Alright, so basically enable the table, enable test mode, uncheck for live, you have your title, uh, your API key, test API key, user ID, description, instructions. Now to get the API key and the test API key, you just go back to here, you click on profile. And if we scroll down, we'll see the user ID. We just copy it. We come here, place the user ID here. And um, this one would be the live, the live API key. But I'm just going to do it in test mode. Alright, so yeah, we need the test API key. Alright, so switch this with the test API key. Save changes. Alright, now let's go back to the site. Go shop. This is just a, a um a dummy WordPress site. Um, let's add to cart. Alright, proceed to check out. Yeah, so just fill out the information just like any other. Oh, WooCommerce. WooCommerce. Alright, so just like any other <coughs> WooCommerce plugin, you just fill out the details. And you hit place order. Alright, because it's in test mode, it will take you to the test payment page. Alright. John Doe. I 
right? And it would redirect the user um, to the page, payment successfully, all is completed, all right? And if we go back here, refresh, you'll see that um, a new invoice was created and paid. If we go to withdraw, you see that um, the <coughs> value of the invoice minus six percent was once again added to the user's balance. All right, so that's basically the gist of the payment aggregation system. Um, if this is something that um, <coughs> you're interested in, you can subscribe to our newsletter to get the full code. All right, so just go to um, hexacodeagency.com and you can subscribe by entering your email right here. All right, um, like and subscribe for more.